In this video, I'm going to share with you the best run defense in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click subscribe. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on YouTube. Now, I release new videos every single day, so by being subscribed, you'll know when those videos go live. And in today's video, we're taking a look at run defense out of the nickel 335 odd. And nickel 335 odd is my favorite defense in the entire game. In fact, I wrote an entire defensive guide on it. I'm going to put a link to that in the description if you want to get that. It's got video write ups or video uh, breakdowns as well as written setups um, that give the best pressure in the game by far. There's not even close. It is the best blitzing defense in the game. So if you want to play aggressive and if you want to uh, scream and just send some freaking heat, it's the best defense in the game for you. And uh, again, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. Okay, guys, so we're going to be talking in this video about Sam Mike 1, and this is my favorite run defense in the game at this point in the season. So I want to share with you kind of why. The first reason why is if you take a look at the alignment, you get pretty basic decent alignment here and all i like to do from an adjustment perspective is just simply press coverage you notice that this left side guy does not go back he stays up so all we're going to do is we're going to press coverage spread our line out we're going to crash our defensive line to the right and then we're going to use her the safety over the center now if you take a look at this formation you're going to know that really the weak side of the of the defense is this right side now we do have that nickel corner over there but if they run a stretch to the right that's kind of what we're going to be peeling to every single time so um here i'm just going to start out with stretch right all you're going to do is just run out here and contain it that's literally it now typically what will happen is that slot corner will play a little bit more aggressive um than he did right there typically he will now if he's not playing aggressive what you can always do is put him into a uh put him into like a curl flat zone i find that to be very effective and then just take that linebacker and man him up on the tight end just like this and then if they run that stretch you'll see that the curl flat zone will really take him to the outside and as you see we're blowing up the stretch pretty easily with our sheds now again this is kind of a shed style approach to run defense but it's going to get you great pressure as well if they do pass the ball let me show you the stretch to the right. Obviously, your blitzer is going to the right. So if you see stretch to the right, you're just coming out here. Same thing, just cleaning up. And as you see, there's really nowhere for the opponent to be able to run to that side of the field. Let's talk about the inside zone or like the duo type of runs here real quick. Uh, and basically what I like to do uh, for this is if you're getting this look right here, again, we're just going to press our coverage. But you're going to see here this is inside zone. That's you. You're just cleaning that up. So you're just kind of flowing with the ball and really free roaming and making most of these tackles. Now, if they run a zone to the right side of the field, uh, like I said, obviously that's a little bit more difficult. So I actually like to start here uh, on the left, just a little bit to the left. That way, if they run to the right, I don't get targeted as much. Right there, they actually popped one on me a little bit for a pretty good game. Now, another thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could basically bring this guy out just like this and kind of put him in man-to-man -man coverage on whoever you want i would probably put him in man coverage on the tight end and then you could use her um you could use her this this left side safety that's come down because obviously your front now is a little bit more balanced so if they run that zone weak to the right now you've got a little bit of a numbers advantage so as you can see right there but honestly i don't find uh, I find for the most part that with this safety, I can do a lot of damage. Now, another thing that you could do with this is you could put him kind of a little bit more aggressive version is to put him right here and you can basically just run through. Obviously right there, that zone weak kind of got me again. Let me show that one more time and uh, I'll show you again. Again, it's just simple. It's a simple, uh, it's a simple deal. And if you want to, you can pinch your linebackers for this. If you're worried about something like that, um, you can pinch your linebackers. As you see here, as long as I just clean that up, I miss the tackle. But as long as I clean up the play, I feel like this is really good. And again, the other thing that you can do this year, um, especially if you think there might be running, is I would stay backed off. Um, I would actually stay backed off this year because, again, you can kind of run down, fill the lane, and there you see we're able to blow that up for a gain of like one yard. So this is the best run defense that I've found up to this point in the season in terms of being able to not only be a good run defense, but also to be a good uh, a good defense if they try to throw the ball. So let me show you what's going to happen if they pass. If they pass out of this, you're going to get crazy, crazy heat off the edge uh, and coming in at the quarterback pretty much untouched every time. 
So the beauty of this is that it's good against the run. It's really good against the pass uh, as well. So you have a lot of opportunities. Now, Deuce Close is one of the best blitzing, like, like pickup type plays or formations in the game. It's really good at picking up blitzes consistently. But again, you typically will get that linebacker coming through the B gap or the edge heat. Um, you might need to spread your linebackers. Let me show you what that looks like. So if you spread your linebackers from this, then you're going to see obviously the middle lane is open but if you actually look at this and let's say they run something like a zone week again if you're backed off you see it, it really does fill pretty nicely the the linebackers fill the lanes very nicely this is a really good shotgun run defense especially for gun bait or like a base run or something like that as well but again let me show you the, the little quick dive from halfback wham again i'm just staying backed off and you see there we're just filling the lanes and we're containing the run. Now we're not blowing up the run, but we're containing the run. If we wanted to blow up the run, we might go to something like the Big Nickel over G. We've talked about that in our defensive guide. The other defense I like is again, you're not gonna blow the run up unless it's like a fourth and inches. So you can go to goal line, you can go to some of those other tactics as well. But as you see, this is really good against stretch, which is the number one run that people are going to run. You're not gonna be able to run stretch to the left. Um, and my advice with your user would be to be to the left of the center, like right here, and just a little bit and pretty significantly off and then from there you can just fill the lanes every single time wherever they go you're going to follow so this is the best run defense that i've found at least at this point in the season i think it's fairly effective against a lot of different things um and a lot of different styles of run uh of run you know philosophy now what i would do is like if they motion like this i would just flip my play i just flip my play just like this now this guy's coming down this guy's your user and now you put yourself in an advantageous position, right? Because if they run dive, it's a numbers advantage. You're always gonna flip this. You want your blitzer to be to the strong side. So if they're in a neutral formation, that's where single back ace, I think, could be very effective. But let's say they go to, and most people aren't gonna be in some places. Most people are gonna run out of like I, I pro. So you say, oh, it's the strong side is that side. So now I'm just gonna flip this play just like this. And I'm gonna drag this guy down and then I'm using this guy now, and I've got plenty of time to do that if they flip. If they just come out in the play, it'll automatically do that for you. But as you see, pretty solid run defense against inside interior runs whenever you do that. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn all the pass coverages from this and how you can just absolutely shut down most of the meta offenses in Madden 22, I'm going to put a link to my nickel 335 odd defensive guide in the description. It's, in my opinion, the best blitzing defense in the game so if you want to defend the pass when with some really heavy pressure concepts it's the best defense for you so if you want to get access to that click the link in the description it'll take you over the website you'll be able to get the defensive ebook for just 15 bucks